so I don't want to, I'm scared I'm going to like overcorrect, right? So before it was, you want to sleep with me? Let's do it. You want to move in? This is romantic, even though it's been a month. You're covered in red flags? Like, that's my color. Like, I would just be like in and yeah, making the same mistakes and and not seeing those paths, not knowing that, you know, when we make fun of people for not seeing red flags, it's actually our biological programming that's going, hey, when you see this be, bad thing, be attracted. that leads to sex and that, sex is good. Right. right? Not, not that you're attracted. You have lightning bolts. You're yes, into it. Yes. You and can't control yourself. So when you said, because this is so interesting because I've been proud of myself, but I almost wonder if this is bad. I've been proud of myself for shutting saying no a lot. Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like I'm That's becoming a like a born again Christian. That's where, a start. Yeah, I but, think but, so. But going to complete anorexia that's is flip side of the same and problem. And that's what I'm nervous about. Yeah. And so when you said, well, I forget how you phrased it, but when you said sort of, you're not looking for lightning bolts, maybe a little more of a boring relationship. A little more. How do you, what is that line? Because- It's hard, to, it's really hard. Yeah, because you're so used hard. to sparks and you don't yeah. want a boring relationship that's going to progressively get more boring and then you're going to fuck there, there off There is of that. an intermediate area. There's yeah. A, there is kind of an, it's hard to find because you're you're going all this way or all that way typically. Yeah. But if you can find something that's like, mm, there, there's things I like about that person. There's things I've been looking for that this person, and a kind of, I could imagine having sex with her, I'm kind of attracted. Yeah. You might find that bears fruit. It might not. And I mean, then you, might just, have, yeah. you might have to, you know, date and relate and sort of work your way through some of this stuff. Because I'm either saying no to the dates entirely to work on myself, which I don't think is the worst thing, or when I see, before we sleep together, when I see one thing that I'm like, that's going to be a thing that I, I just yeah, bail because be I assume it's not well, the it, one. You, you know, you've already said, you know, feminine and kind is, is sort of a unfamiliar territory for yeah. you and you can go try that. There are right. a lot of kind people out there. I know. You don't notice them, but they're out there. Dude, <laughs> I, I went to church for the first time in my life this month and I literally asked my buddy who brought me, I go, is everyone here just really sweet? Uh, yeah, that's going to drive you crazy and, and to be taken care of, probably don't like that either, right? Mm -hmm. Taking? No, I mean on paper it sounds great. But you're because I've been I, yeah. I I can barely take a compliment. Yeah, yeah let yeah, alone yeah. can I have someone like cook me something yes, yes. or so that's kind of the zone you have to look for. Sort right. of more somebody who's gonna you, you've like whoa that's I wonder what that would feel like. To the I feel like I need someone feminine to the point where I feel like it's sexist. Are you are you fearful that you're going to hurt that person in some way if you don't continue in a relationship with them? Yes, now I am. That's yeah. before I, I feel I like it was that. codependent. I I don't want to get hurt. No, now you're gonna, like, if I let myself be with this kind of kind person, she's so kind. How do I, how I, do I get out? I've of had it? breakup conversations. I'm 40. Yeah. I've had breakup conversations with girls I haven't even met on Instagram because we've been talking and it seems like there might be something and we go, we should meet. And then I would see something where I go, you know what? Either I'm not ready or you're more into it than I am. And I thought, I was like being good by no. not ghosting yeah. or whatever. And then, so I would say, you know, Hey, I don't think this is going to work. I don't want you to get, you know, hurt or whatever. Uh, and then they would get so upset that suddenly I'm just having the worst parts of a relationship without getting to have sex. And I, so cause it, I feel so bad. But it really is codependency. It really is. Cause you're, you're taking care of that person before you a, even know them, even know them. and B Give them the respect to take care of themselves. Uh, they can, they may not ask you to take care and of them. All of my girlfriends have said that where they've been like, dude, they're fucking grownups. If they say they just want to have sex with you, just have sex with them. If they say they want this, just do this. Yeah. But I'm just too. Yeah. And yeah. the thing about codependency too, is you can talk yourself into, I'm just so nice. And it's not, I mean, Codependence, you remember, is a, and I'm a codependent. Yeah. It's kind of a narcissism. It it's, is it's a kind little of, bit, right? It's a reverse narcissism, right? It's like I'm, I experience myself through other people, and I'm so worried about other people and their feelings, but really it's my own feelings that I'm protecting. Right. I don't, I don't want to be upset hurting them, or yeah. I don't want but, but them it, to. Also, you don't want to activate your pain yeah. by activating their pain. It's like, I'm going to go to a monastery. So, no, just get, get a therapy. Get a, get a proper therapy. <laughs> Fine, whatever. A good therapist. I'm sure they're out here. Yeah. You've been here a year. What's it been like? Um, Therapy-wise? No, no. Uh, just living in Austin. I like it a lot. Um, What's I, it like? Is there a lot of people dating and hanging out? And Yeah, I mean... I and by the way, there's nothing wrong with just hanging out with people. By the way, you just learned what it feels like to break well, bread and so, share with somebody. Yeah, and, and I mean, I used to just... You know, I feel like with the dating apps, so many people, especially in their 30s, 
treat it like a full-time job. I know, yeah. Where it's just every night, it's a different date, and they're on like four different apps, and I just- Crazy. Yeah, and I, you know, you don't, I don't wanna be the old judgmental man, but like I was talking to my brother the other day, and I very earnestly said like, I just wanna meet a girl at a bookstore. Like, (laughs) that's what, that's my dream, right? And the thing is, I have no problem. Everywhere I go, I will strike up conversations with strangers, and sometimes they're girls, and sometimes they're guys, sometimes it's about their dogs. Um, I'm great talking to people afterwards. I'm just, I think because this is the longest I've been without being in a relationship, and I mean, not even that long, like since March, uh, and then, I mean, it's only been like a month or two that I haven't had sex. And, you're, but, you're already in a panic. A little bit. I'll be alone forever. I'll be alone forever. Well, yeah. Be, and I never felt that way because I could make these toxic decisions in between relationships. Right, right. So if I'm taking those off the table, if I'm taking off one night stand, Tinder hookup, stuff like that, and I'm just waiting for a relationship there's nothing to kind of fill that void. Yeah. I mean, right. There is, there's probably healthy things to fill that. No, void. no, there, but it's, but you it's know what I mean? sitting in your feelings. Yeah. Being alone. Yeah. Yeah. And there are times when I love it, which is amazing. Like I've never, I it's never new, thought I would good. love being alone. Good. Um, like I don't wake up sad. I wake up happy. Mm-hmm. I go to bed happy. Good. There are times, you know, where I do a lot of things but by myself. I love going to movies by myself. Mm-hmm. I think there's a real beauty in, Not owning being single as in like, I can fuck whoever I want, but like owning doing stuff by yourself. Mm -hmm. Like I love going to the movies by myself. Mm -hmm. So my favorite things to do. Um, But then there are times where I start to do the math and I go, God, I'm 40 and I want kids. Mm -hmm. And then what I don't want to do is, okay, I'm making healthy decisions with boundaries. I'm working on my codependency. I'm waiting for the right girl. I'm not just having sex to have sex. All this is great. But then, you know, when you, like, you don't want to do something so, like, I don't want to just snap because I'm horny and suddenly I end up marrying some, like, toxic, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm just, now I just want to rush it. Get therapy, get therapy. All right. Go to Alana, whatever you want. (laughs) However you want to do it, it's all good. Oh, dude, when I, I feel, I dropped out of high school. I feel like the only test I've ever passed with flying colors was when I took the Alanon thing. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, that's me. You're on A hundred percent. A hundred percent. Yeah. I mean, there's... It's not uncommon, but it 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 can get the better of you, just like addiction can. I know. 